New tonight, an IMPD officer has been fired after prosecutors say he faked a burglary at his home. News 8's Elizabeth Choi has more from IMPD headquarters on how investigators piece this case together. This all started back on September 1st when the suspect, who's also a Greenwood resident, called Greenwood police to let them know that his home had been burglarized. And after a seemingly uncomplicated investigation, officers believe it was all made up. The story begins here. Auburn Place Apartments in Greenwood. Unit 16 is where police say 30-year-old IMPD officer Juan Baez III lives. We knocked, but nobody answered. According to investigators, Baez called police and reported that somebody broke into his apartment and stole his wife's wedding rings, a necklace, watch, a video game system, video controllers, and video game. Had you heard about that at all? No, I'm just right next door. Wouldn't this happen last night? Never is the answer, according to police. Authorities believe Baez faked the burglary and actually sold the items a week and a half before reporting to police. Investigators accessed an online database and found the items Baez allegedly reported stolen. The jewelry and game system were pawned at First Cash Pond. In addition, they say he also pawned an IMPD ballistic helmet and vest and then signed a document saying he had the right to sell them. According to police, his pawn record included his picture, thumbprint, signature, and a copy of his driver's license. He ought to have a little uh, more sense and a few more brains than that. Using the same online database, investigators say they learned that Baez had also sold his controller and a game at GameStop, less than a half mile from his apartment. Oh, okay, this is uh, getting a little strange, but I kind of felt a little safe because he was in the neighborhood, so this is a twist. Baez allegedly admitted to faking the burglary to hide the fact that he sold the items from his wife. IMPD put Baez on leave and then fired him on Monday. He'd only been with the department for a year, so he was still in his probationary period. Now, people have mixed feelings about how this story should end. But I can't just throw him under the bus because of his what his job or his nature of his job is. Hang the son of a gun. He's, he's supposed to enforce the law, not break the law. At this time, Baez's first court date has not yet been set, but the Marion County Prosecutor's Office did charge him with counterfeiting, which is a level six felony, as well as theft and false informing. Both are misdemeanors. Of course, this is one we'll continue to follow and bring you updates as they're made available to us. But for now, from IMPD headquarters, Elizabeth Choi, Wish TV, News 8.